Hi guys, welcome back to my video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Today I'm going to be making a, a housewarming basket. I got this basket here from Dollar Tree. They come in several different colors. And um, let's go ahead and get started. The theme, of course, as you can see, is like a lime green game. I love this laundry detergent. And the person I'm gifting this to loves it as well. I'm gonna start off with these trash liners just to give it some height. I'm gonna just rip a couple up in here and then I'm gonna fluff it out. Some trash liners because they have so much around my house that we don't even use. Hope you guys are doing awesome today. Leave a comment, let me know. Are you done with your Christmas shopping? How's everything going? Me, I'm pretty much done. And I'm just looking forward to spending the holidays with my family and having a good time and eating. So, as you can see, I'm just fluffing out these baskets to give the items that I'm gonna put into it some height. Things are really strong. So that should be enough. Then I have some tissue paper here to go with our theme. A couple sheets here. And you want to cover up your trash liners, or you can use grocery bags, newspaper, anything that you have. So what I'm going to do. I'm Start over. I'm gonna take this first liner and kind of tuck it in underneath so that you don't see it on the outside because this is this basket see through. And then the other one, I'm just gonna go right on top. The first thing I'm gonna place in here is the heaviest item which is the softener. The detergent, that one to the front. And the person that I'm gifting this to also has a baby, so I'm going to add some baby detergent. And this is the Arm & Hammer brand. I know a lot of people are used to drift, but this is actually pretty good. I used this with my own boys when they were babies. It's pretty good. And I'm going to add some of this soft soap liquid. It's just like a refillable container. I'm going to add that right here. I got some dryer balls. This one I got from the Dollar Tree. And guys, I don't know if you ever used this before, but what it does is it helps your clothes dry faster and it fluffs up your towels if you have towels. You can see that? Use it a couple times. Right on the front. Well, I can put it back there. I got gray to match the basket. And then I have this Febreze small space. Just to freshen up the area of the laundry room. Put that in there. And then lastly, I have some gain dryer sheets just to go with, along with the theme. So I'm going to put that right up front. And I just want to make sure everything is nice and snug and tight in here before you wrap it up. So, that's some cellophane wrap. This you can get at the Dollar Tree. But they don't give you much in here, so you can probably go to Walmart and get, you know, more bang for your buck. But I just need to wrap this basket. I didn't need it for anything else, so. Just got one. What you wanna do is just open it up all the way. The basket. Just want to make sure it's 
center. I have more on the other side, so I'm going to just rasp it over. I'm just going to look at both sides, make sure it's even, almost like you're wrapping a present. You know how that goes. Move it around and see if you can get it right. Guys, I do apologize if it's too static in this paper. And you just wrap it. Huh? What I'm going to do is turn my basket this way. That way, the fold is towards the back. Pull everything up as far as you can. Don't worry about the size, you guys. You'll take that at the end. Like I said, just like a birthday present. Turn that basket over. And another thing you can do, like if you're gifting a housewoman gift laundry basket, you can add some towels. Hand towels, regular towels, anything of that sort. I just went simple with this basket. So I have some ribbon, gold ribbon that I'm going to tie. And the ribbon, you want to get it centered as well. It doesn't have to be perfect unless you're good at tying a bow. Hold that there in the center. Pull it, even it out. That's why I told you guys don't worry about it. It goes out a little bit. You're going to fold it. You take it. Right now it's like a triangular piece. You're going to fold it towards the back. And take it around. This little piece up here. Same thing. I'm not going to add too much tape. Just a little bit. And with clear tape, it just, you know, it's not even noticeable. This side, same thing. Put it in a little bit. A little bit. And trying to piece back here. This side is a little bit more snug than the other. That's fine. We're going to tape it. Bottom piece, same thing, hold it out, triangle piece, and tape it towards the bottom. You get to the top, you cut it however short you want it. I do like it a little bit sticking out. So I'm going to go right up here, buff it out a little bit, and that's it. That's my house forming laundry basket. I hope you guys like it. I hope I gave you guys some ideas to do your own for someone or even yourself. You want to give yourself a laundry basket. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Until next time, see you guys in the next video.